Hey guys, Fitness Doc here. I see a lot online about Clen and how Clen makes you lose weight and is this amazing fat loss agent. What I don't see as much of is why and the actual biochemical and biological pathways behind how Clen works. So this is gonna be the truth and the mechanisms behind Clen as a fat loss agent. Okay, so what is clenbuterol? It's a beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, meaning that when it attaches to this receptor, it upregulates or increases the activity of the receptor itself and every single biochemical pathway that that controls. And that's where the interesting bit of clen comes from. Now, most humans express this beta-2 adrenergic receptor widely in both fat or adipose tissue and skeletal muscle tissue. And this is why it's interesting because research has shown that when these receptors are agonized or activated, basal metabolic rate in humans increases anywhere from 10 to 50%. So you get 50% in some cases more calorie burning and metabolic rate increases than you would have from baseline, meaning that you're burning through calories way quicker than you would if you're natural. But why is this the case? What are the exact mechanisms? Let's go into it now. I'm gonna keep it brief because the science can get quite heavy, but these are the main mechanisms that they found clenbuterol to act upon in a biological way. Stimulation of muscle beta-2 adrenergic receptors induces basically a leak of calcium ions in and out of something called the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the muscle cell. Now, when this happens, it causes a repetitive contraction and relaxation of the muscle bellies. And a lot of people taking clen will get these muscle tremors. That is literally the muscle trying to contract and relax due to this stimulation of the beta-2 receptor. And it's this repeated contraction and relaxation cycle that's burning through a lot of ATP energy. Where does ATP come from? Calories that we intake, so fats and carbs, and it's burning through these calories very quickly. It's almost like exercising without actually exercising, but 24 seven turned on. So that's why Clen can burn off fat because the body is pulling on those fat reserves to keep the ATP production going and you get a huge amount of calorie expenditure than you would have above baseline. Stimulation of beta-2 receptors also increases glucose uptake and fatty acid release, meaning with more free fatty acids floating around, the fatty acid oxidation, which is really just a fancy way of saying fat burning, is way higher than it would be. And there is evidence for this because in studies where they've looked at people exercising, people taking beta-2 adrenergic drugs like clenbuterol, their fat burning is higher as exercise duration increases. There is also some evidence that clenbuterol can increase protein accretion and skeletal muscle hypertrophy, meaning more muscle equals more metabolic load on the body, which equals more calories needed to sustain that amount, an extra amount of muscle mass. And finally, mitochondrial protein leak is increased when you take clen or a beta-2 agonist. Now, what does this mean? Cellular respiration involves a number of processes where protons are pumped across gradients, but this process can be very inefficient with a number of leak points across the cycle. Clenbuterol basically increases the leak points and makes the whole cycle more inefficient. And you're thinking, isn't that a bad thing? But what happens is because it's more inefficient, the body still needs the same amount of energy. Like if you wanna move your leg, it still has to create ATP to do that. It still needs to be able to do that. Therefore, it's just going to pull more calories from the free fatty acids and the glucose, putting it through the pathways to create ATP. So you get a more inefficient process, basically means you need to burn more fuel. It's like you have a leak in your petrol tank, you need to keep putting fuel in, and that's basically what clenbuterol upregulates. So instead of the usual storage and production of ATP, the body has to increase cellular respiration to accommodate for this loss of protons and usually loss to heat energy. Meaning, like I said, burning through more calories, more fat loss. But the bulk of the fat burning properties of clenbuterol comes from the first point, which is the increased activity in the muscle mass. And studies have shown that clenbuterol can be almost as effective as pure adrenaline at increasing metabolic rate as a result of inducing this strong muscular contraction and relaxation cycle at rest. And as an agonist, it can be explained in a really simple way. A lot of the effects are like adrenaline. It has a very similar chemical structure to adrenaline. Adrenaline looks like this and clenbuterol looks like this. Just slightly modified, adrenaline has a two to three minute half-life that would be unrealistic 
for clenbuterol, for people taking clenbuterol. They've made a few adjustments just to increase its half-life to around 25 to 48 hours. Dosing, well, there's not a whole lot of research on the proper dose. And for good reason, getting people in studies to take clenbuterol is dangerous. It can increase hypertrophy of the heart and cardiac tissue fibrosis and even cardiac cell death in high doses. And getting humans to take it wouldn't really pass an ethical board for these studies. But 25 micrograms per kilo of body weight per day in this study was said to be 80 times the amount recommended for humans. So if we do the maths on a 100 kilo person or a 220 pound person, this study is saying that 25 times 100, which is 2,500 micrograms, is 80 times too much. So 2,500 divided by 80 gives us 31.25 micrograms. And this certainly stacks up with a lot online, which recommends anywhere from 40 to 100 micrograms for the bodybuilders who take clean. And now I'm not recommending you take clean at all, obviously. I'm just getting the science out here of how it works, the mechanisms. Basically, it upregulates muscular contraction and relaxation, so it's like you're exercising 24-7. And all these processes serve to increase metabolic rate, meaning that your body needs to pull more energy, usually from fat stores, to make sure that it keeps you alive. This is precisely why bodybuilders use it as a cutting cycle, because it's good at partitioning and pulling from fat cells in order to keep you alive and burn through the calories. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is a video about the truth about Clen, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. The Fitness Doc signing out.